this is Franny coming to you from Hempex Asheville. We're super excited to have Casey Lynn with us as an instructor who will be teaching about weaving today. Casey Lynn owns a fiber farm in Tennessee. She's a textile farmer and had a hand in processing the first fiber, hemp fiber, for an American flag. And we'd love for you to tell us about where that fiber was sourced, where the hemp was sourced, and what that process was like. So the hemp fiber was sourced in Kentucky um, on Mike Lewis's farm, and it was hand processed by a group of people in Kentucky. It was then sent to California and hand spun, and organic cotton that was grown in California was sent to a group of us in Tennessee, and we did all of the dyeing and all of the skeining um, and put the fiber back on a cone and was able to send it back to California where it was hand woven into the flag. Okay, so you said organic cotton. Is that something mm -hmm. that you used in a, in a blend with the hemp? How was the hemp fiber actually utilized? Yes, so this? Um, this is a really good example here. Um, this is actually some leftover from both uh, the hemp and the cotton. And so the cotton um, acts as the warp. So it's the vertical, it's the up and down, it's, it's the red and white here. And then the hemp acted as the weft, the left and right here. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, and what else do you have right here? So my little passion project that I've been working on with a group of uh, lovely Tennesseans is um, we're creating a Tennessee flag that is um, using all Tennessee grown hemp, and then we're doing um, an alpaca blend as well with that. And so Casey Lynn will also be part of the process. The same process is gonna happen with the hemp that we grew in North Carolina on Franny's farm and collectively through NC State Mountain Research Project to make the first North Carolina hemp flag.